I'm going to introduce you today to some of the other attachments and accessories that we have uh, for cooking not just pork um, but other uh, foods as well. Here is the uh, porchetta rods. These are used for uh, holding a boned out pig on the pole so it doesn't fall off when you're uh, cooking it. As you can see, it sits onto the pole, the clamped here, and these rods go through the pork. This is the finished article. As you can see, you've got the pig carcass still with the head on, and the prongs are pushed in to hold the meat in position while it's cooking, and then it's stringed up. It's actually best to get the butcher to do this, it's rather a difficult job to do boning out a pig and uh, stuffing it up. A 60 pound porchetta pig will take probably about five and a half to six hours to cook. You have to cook it longer and slower because it is so dense and heavy. So we can just pop this into the roaster. Pop the lids up. Just before you start roasting, you can uh, use some of your own seasoning, that always helps. Porchetta is a traditional Italian favorite for weddings and celebrations. By boning and stuffing the pig with seasoned pork shoulder, you greatly increase the meat yield and have an easy carve roast with no bones. That looks great to the last bite. A 140 pound pig, boned and stuffed, will provide over 100 pounds of succulent cooked meat feeding 200 guests for a feast and requiring only one chef. We're now going to show you some new attachments that we have for our roasters that will help you cook more efficiently and more product on your roaster. This is the bottom rack which you can place into the roaster on the bottom and you can cook potatoes. You take your potatoes, place them down there and as you're cooking your meats you can roast your potatoes, getting the flavor on top of your potatoes too. Another thing we can do on here is ribs. There are two different ways of doing ribs. Roasting ribs, we take the barbecue rack, place on the uh, roaster. We then take some ribs, place them in a steam line pan, add some water to them, Cover them with tin foil. After you place the tin foil on the, ro or in the pan, you then place them on the roasting rack and uh, cook them for two hours at 400 degrees. Another device we have for cooking ribs is our, ri our rib rack. We place it on the barbecue rack and take our ribs and, and place them on the racks. You can either do them with a smoker box or without a smoker box. You cook these for three hours at approximately 300 degrees. Today we're gonna to be smoking some chicken breasts and wild duck breasts. We do like to, uh, to use fruit smokes uh, wood from fruit trees if we can. Uh, today we're using apple and we just load it up into the smoke tray and then it is placed directly uh, on the burner where it will smoke uh, the chicken breasts and, and the duck breasts that, that we have set out. I'll lay them uh, nicely out on the grill. They've been uh, lightly seasoned with both salt and pepper and they're going to cook for one to two hours until they're nicely cooked and we'll be cooking them on low until they're thoroughly cooked through. The small roaster here shows you the perfect Thanksgiving combination. Two turkeys and a top sirloin of beef. Using two sets of four prong clamps, we thread the turkeys down the pole, securing with the hex key. For medium-rare beef, ensure the beef weighs more than the birds. 
These turkeys weigh 13 pounds each and will take around three hours to roast. The larger roaster can roast five turkeys of this size. The rotisserie baskets hold up to 160 pounds of self-basting meat. Baskets come in 36 and 48 inch lengths, roasting up to 36 golden chickens. Slow roast brisket or pork butt, smoked turkey legs or hams, roast potatoes, corn or stuffed peppers. When using the 36 inch rotisserie baskets, you can also insert a deep dish steam pan to cook other dishes, great for chili and beans. You'll buy the roaster to create the best ever pig roast and use it for all your cooking and serving needs. Its functionality is amazing. <music>